Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Viore to Ola uh, If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe so that you'll know when I post a new video. And for everyone that has subscribed, thank you so much. And for everyone that is sharing my videos, thank you so much. I receive great testimonies from people that are being helped. People are learning a lot. Um, I appreciate that. That is just God uh, speaking through me. Okay. Today, I just want to address something small that will enlighten your mind. And I hope it helps you. I call a relationship on a maintainer, no mumshato, on a maintainer, on a gazui discovery. The problem is that we have a void that has been created by our past bad experiences of which made us to have a defensive mechanism so that we don't blame ourselves for the issues that we come across. In relationships, they blame their partners before they blame themselves. Most of the times you'll hear people when they come asking for advice and for counseling. He did that, he did this, she did that, she did this. No one comes and says, I did this. And it made him to react like this. I did this. And it made her to react like this. How can I handle this in a better way? If we were in that space, we could be different people. And our lives would be way much better in relationships and marriages. You need to meet you first before you meet your partner. The biggest tragedy that happens in relationships and marriages, we meet people before we meet ourselves. Have you taken a step to discover who you are? We meet people. We're so concerned about supporting their vision, supporting their dreams. We're so concerned about building with them. But have you built yourself to be suitable for your partner? Most people, they want the opposite of what they can't offer. There's no way you can sustain a relationship or a marriage if you don't qualify to offer what you want. The very same guy that you want to date, the very same guy that you want to, to get married to, the CEO of a company, the, the someone who's goal-driven, someone who loves God, someone who does that, is the very same principles that you should attribute to yourself. That particular person should fit into something that has been discovered to yourself. Discover who you are. Meet yourself. What are your dreams? What are your vision? Why are you here on earth? What are your belief systems? How do you respect culture? What do you think about community? What do you think about the, the world around you? Expand yourself, your knowledge and your wisdom. The problem is that as much as you can want to have that in a partner, if you don't have it, that relationship will never be sustainable because there's inequality. Where there is inequality, there'll definitely be toxicity. The issue is that there is no balance. You want things that you can offer. People are complaining about their partners, about the things that they can. When you look at this person, you don't even have a metric. You don't even have a lens. You don't even have a license. You don't even, you don't afford yourself, but you want somebody to afford you. Meet yourself, develop yourself. And then from there, you can meet somebody who will be in equilibrium with you so that you grow and rise together, helping one another. Meet yourself before you meet your partner. 